Okay, so I'm gonna get a spinner now. We are gonna play three spinning goes today, you guys. As you can see, we're, you know, I'll show you hands in the melee if they happen. But uh, we're playing a spin and go ladder. We're starting at the $60 level, you guys. If we win one, we move up. If we uh, lose two, we have to move down. So we're starting at the 60s. We're gonna play three in a row. We do this once a day. We're gonna do it right now. All right, we're gonna start with a 4X to 240 here against Green Satan 89 and Jenny be good. 9-8, I'm gonna go for a min raise here on the button, which is gonna be one of the weaker hands that I raise here, but I'm still gonna raise it. Get a call, king, queen, queen, sure. Let's throw a little bet out here. Just over a third. Min raise back, we fold. We have ace five suited open. Can we reshove here for 20 without antes? I think yes. I don't know for sure, uh, math wise, but I think we can. Eight, nine, yeah, I'm gonna raise again. Conviction, what's up? And we flop an open ender. I'm gonna check back at the stack depth. They bet we'll call. We can bluff some rivers when they check. We can obviously hit her hand, which is cool. Um, ace should bluff, represent flushes and two pairs with the ace x and stuff. King jack, we bet and take it, cool. Let's raise to 60, get a call, ace four four. I think just betting a third is fine. Get them to fold hands like eight nine that can just hit a pair, right? Like. Just little tiny bet to uh, get them to fold some equity. And let's put in a three bet here to 110 with our ace king. In spinigo number one, if we win this one, we're back up to the hundreds and we finish this spinigo episode with, uh, maybe we should fold here actually, with two shots at the hundreds, but we got to win first. Uh, ace nine here, shove for 15 or raise call? I don't know. Without antes, I don't really know how I should construct my range here. Assuming you never moved down to like $5 MTCs, what would you do if you busted all your money? Would you borrow some and continue grinding? Ice Splash Cranberry? I don't know. I just wouldn't be in that position, you know? Like, I just wouldn't... I wouldn't have a bankroll management where that was, um, like, possible. And things would be changing before I ever got there. So, I don't know. Like, I don't know what circumstances would have got me to that place. Like, if just all of my money just disappeared, like, I just got, you know, it just disappeared tomorrow, like, I would start... I'd still play, obviously, but... Uh, they check call. We see a deuce on the turn. Maybe we just don't have too many strong hands here. We do have a gut shot. Um, we don't block ace highs. It's a reasonable um, one-two punch for like let's barrel, but not confident enough. I see a limp. <laughs> this is weird. No antes is so difficult. It's just hard. Check. And check the river. 6-8 wins, okay. Didn't cost us too much, but they limped 6-8 on the button. I'm going to limp jack 7, because of stack depth. Um, they can just bolt the reshuffle on me really effectively. Deuce 3 four. We have some good turns for us here. Then again, we do have jack high. So I'm just going to throw out a little stab, take it down. Should I limp call here? Just open shove. Yeah, I'll just shove. I feel like there's probably better ace x hands that we could limp call. Ace nine plays so poorly. And they have ace queen. It doesn't really change too much for us. Like if we limp and they shove, we're calling with ace nine. So it's not like it really hurts my feelings. <laughs> it's just uh, a matter of how we construct our range. I'm gonna shove the queen jack. Get a reshove, okay. We're not dead. We're not dead. Okay. We're pretty dead. <laughs> GG, you guys. King 10 is going to scoop it, and we get third place in the spinner. All right, let's try again, though. Um, this is our second 60, you guys. Our sex second $60 spin could win up to 600K. Boom. Kappa. Huzzah. Okay. 240. This is not bad again. 240. 4X. It's good. So let's see how we do. Master Scoop from Denmark and Dimitri Kill from Russia. Both in here. If we lose... We're gonna be down to the 30s for the last spin of the day. All right, so raise, call, call. We flop at the top, Aramon. I think I was gonna bet about 50 myself. Mm. It's pretty close as to whether we wanna raise this for value over this bet or not. Our hand does benefit from protection. A lot of bad cards for us, like a queen, a king, an ace, a heart. Uh, then again, it's kind of difficult to get a lot of value from worse hands by raising here. Um, so we're gonna start with the call. Dimitri overcalls. And we see a queen on the turn. 
Let's check, check. Should we bet? I don't think so. It's too thin. Kind of just got to take our medicine and hope a heart doesn't peel. Let's check, check, check. Seven on the river. Dimitri can definitely have queen 10, can have king 10, can also have 10, 9, can have ace 10. All those hands. Uh, I'm going to check down here pretty happily and hope to have a better 10 against ace 5. Okay, cool. King 6 for a Master Coup who led. I like it with the backdoor hearts, the 3 to a straight, the king high that check, can't check call. I like um, that they chose that hand. 5-8, I'm going to fold though. I'm going to open the chest on Monday. I have 12 in waiting. And we are going to reshove here. Come on, Master Scoop. Come on, master. Ah, yeah, no call. We're up to 720, though. It's a pretty good spot. We have about half the chips in play, just less. If we win this spot, we'll have half the chips in play. There we go. 750. All right, King Jack. See, min raise from Dimitri. I like calling here. I think if we reshove, we're going to run into a lot of ace X type hands, which we don't really want to do. Hey, that's the one. Hey, that's the one. Hey, let's go. Hunt it. We are heads up with 11.45. Master Scoop sitting short. This is to move up to the $100 level. And to uh, Scoop a spin and go for 240. We get a walk there. I'm going to start limping unless there's a reason to raise the first hand. So check. King 10 8. I'm going to check back. That's two pair. That's a two pair, Dottie. I'm at 47 and 120. Boom, there we go. That's the one. Are we going to take it down? They have 128 chips remaining. We call. Ace King, Queen 5. For all the marbles. No. Nope. Not going to get it done. 10 deuce here. I guess we'll limp stab. Kind of sucks. We're getting 3 to 1 pre flop, though. So I guess we'll limp stab. Okay. King 10. We'll call a shove. We'll shove over a limp. They walk us. All right. 4-3. Limp. Such a dry flop. Make it 35 here. He's going to shove pre. There's a chance they fold. I mean, we have enough equity against whatever would limp call here, given how short we are. Jack 3. Now we can shove any 2. Well, not quite any 2, but almost any 2. Uh, we had 33% against the ace, but we flop a jack. Can we hold it? Oh, let's go, you guys. We take down spin and go number two for $240. That's not bad, man. Is that guaranteed profit? 240, 6120, 120. Yeah, guaranteed profit. All right, cool. I'm into that. Uh, now, the last spin and go, spin and go number three. We are back after the 100s, you guys. Let's see if we spin a million dollars right now. I mean, that's my dream. Who hasn't dreamt about that? Spending a million dollars on stream? Like, I think about it at least once a month. Like, yeah, imagine that. That would light the world on fire. Okay, it's just going to be 400. So it's going to be like a little match. I'm just going to light a match here, okay? Uh, we're playing against Chess Master from Argentina and Ars Rude. Uh, from where? Where are you from, Ars? Denmark, okay. This is our last spin and go of the day. If we win, we start with two $100 spin and goes tomorrow, at least. If we lose, we're going to start with one, and it'll be a deciding factor. So that's the plan for the spin and go ladder. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying them. If you are, let me know. Ace do suited, though. Hell yeah. Go to three bet fold, I guess. And it's a really bad flop, actually. We should probably check folds. I think we should check folds. Pocket 10s, raise it up. Get a call, king, queen, eight, okay. Check back again in position here. Uh, nine on the turn, I'm happy to check again and hopefully see a river. Mm, arse, I don't think we can bet for value. It's a little bit too thin. They show six deuce, that's quite a wide defend. Ooh, uh, okay, I'm gonna fold. I was thinking about limping, I don't like raising for obvious reasons. Let's fold. All right, ace four against king 10, all in. That's a four. That's a heart. Oh, it's another heart. We're heads up against Ars Rude from Denmark. All right, Ars. Let's do this, baby. Okay, I guess I'll check. It's a nice hand. Queen eight of diamonds. It's nice. All right, we're going to bet here on the turn. Once it goes check, check. Mm, <laughs> that's a bad river. 
Dang it. Dang it, 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 dang it. Look at the queen four. Take it to the streets. Flab it a pair. Queens, man. Check back. They don't have very many aces in the range. So they're going to shove, I think, all of them pre flop. So let's just check. Control the size of the pot. They shouldn't have very many kings either. I'm just going to throw it a little bit. I mean, we're going to get some value from a seven, probably. Some value from club jaws. It's really hard for them to have better hands, to be honest. It's just kind of hard. Min raise will call. Flop it a pair of mines, man. And uh, I think just check shove here. They bet pot. Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but still, I think with how much money's in the pot, we should roll here. They're not always going to have an ace, um, especially when they don't shove free. They have king eight. Mm. Okay, all right. Well, hey, at least I got it in good. <laughs> that is going to be the end of that uh, spin and go ladder. We're going to be back tomorrow with another spin and go ladder where we're starting at the $100 spin and go level. One spin and go to go. I did my best on the last one, but hey, a little profit on the day. We'll get them next time.